Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna Snedden. If you're new here, I want to say hey, what's up hello. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Uh, yeah guys, and if you're returning, this video is going to be a little different. This video is basically called How to Not Be a Broke Millennial. And I'm a millennial, I am not broke. Um, and what inspired me to make this video is that I didn't really know that a lot of millennials don't know like these simple money tricks that um, have really helped me be able to be financially stable for the most part and you know most part I mean I'm doing really great right now okay and uh, it's just things that I thought that everybody knew and I thought it would be a good idea to share um, because we are millennials we're powerful and we deserve to be financially stable we deserve to have good lives we deserve to not be stressed out um, I know it's hard out here in these streets um, but something I gotta say is that no matter where you are in life you don't gotta feel like you know you're behind in life you just gotta know that you're early in the game if you're a millennial you're early in the game you're early in learning how to generate income and be financially stable make good money decisions we're all gonna make dumb money choices that are going to like bite us in the butt later you know what I mean like oh spending a lot of money on something and then your car breaks down next week that's something that you want to have figured out before that happens pretty much so um, basically first things first stay out of debt at all costs um, I'm a huge anti-debt person just in general not for like businesses but like just gen just in general um, debt is the devil pretty much um, it is not free money uh, it is gonna be harder to pay back later you don't know where you're gonna be in the years coming up uh, most debt has interest it's a trap okay uh, don't go into debt for anything I know a lot of people have to go into debt for school which I understand I think that's the only thing that like if your life requires a degree I'm also kind of anti-college but if your life requires a degree then you're probably gonna have to get in debt which you're not for sure guaranteed a job a lot of times to be able to pay all that off so that's something that you need to think about um, but just in general I would say stay out of debt um, that's the first thing I don't know why people my age are getting in debt that's just so dumb also cars okay buy a used car get a used car pay for it in cash okay save up pay for a car in cash that is used you do not need a nice car starting out in life okay you can drive a beater usually beaters are really nice because you don't even have to stress out about anything happening to it you can humble yourself all right a lot of people are out here flexing like they got cash they're either silver spoon babies or they're in debt or maybe they actually have money but you don't have to live to impress everybody so it's okay to drive a beater for a while I drive a Honda and I'm perfectly happy and satisfied um, the great thing about buying a used car you don't have payments uh, if you buy like a Honda Accord you can get cheap gas which is really important everything um, why is my Okay, we got say gas is cheap, uh, repairs are cheap, oil changes are cheap. You need to do something that's sufficient for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, if you're gonna do a car payment, I would not suggest a car payment because you're gonna be tied to that for who knows how long. Who knows how long you're gonna be tied to that car payment? Um, I, I would just not suggest it because, like I said, that's just just that you don't need in your life right now. You feel you dig. Alright, so uh, something else I would say, a lot of people may not agree with this, but for as long as possible, millennials, I would say if your parents are cool and you want to live at home, I would say live at home until you are uncomfortable, then get out and use all that saved money for your life. That's what I would say, because if you have chill parents, I would take advantage of that, because you can move out and come back, alright? So... You don't gotta be embarrassed, alright? You don't gotta be, oh my god, what are people gonna think about me? Screw what people think, they're broke. You don't gotta listen to what broke people think, alright? So, you know what? Until you move out, you're going to be able to save money, and then once you have money saved, you can go live your life. Um, something else I would suggest is something about me is I've always been a saver, 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 saver. All I do is save my money. And uh, something I also want to encourage is to spend money. Um, that may come off a little weird, but you do need to treat yourself. Um, spend some money here and there. Uh, I would suggest if you need clothes, go thrift shopping, but don't deprive yourself of the things you need, which is what I always did. I would go without. 
um, go without eating, go without this, that, and the other. So something that you need to do is just keep in mind that, you know, it's okay to buy yourself something nice every once in a while. It's okay to, you know, set aside money every week to go do stuff with your friends, which is what I do. I used to never do that because I hated spending money. But something I had to retrain myself to think is that you got to know that money is like, it's like the law of attraction. It's going to always come back to you. Money will always come back to you. So... Also, like, just with generosity, you know, tipping, that's really important because I believe in the, you know, karma, what you reap, what you, what you reap is what you sow. So, putting money out there and it'll come back to you. Um, I would also suggest, guys, um, saving, like, 30% of what you earn. So, yes, but you should probably just be setting aside... 30% of what you make to savings, just for savings, for emergencies. For those emergencies, like let's say your car needs new tires immediately. You have that money set aside to go buy yourself tires for your car. Or let's say your rent is way higher than what you expected, then you have that there. Or let's say you have to go to the hospital and your insurance won't cover it for whatever reason. Oh yeah, other thing, you need car insurance. You need car insurance. Um, that is very important. You should not be driving your car without car insurance. Uh, that is dangerous. Uh, so whatever you need to do to make that happen, you need to make happen. Uh, so I'm not anti-spending money because I think that's like a dangerous mindset to be like, oh, I can't spend any money because a lot of people get trapped in that for the rest of their life. All you got to know is that you need to speak affirmations over your life. You need to be positive and you need to know that you're going to be successful in this life. And it's okay to have to budget for a short amount of time um live within your means guys so if you start making more money you see those people who make more money and they just you know spend it all when they get it you need to practice now how to have your finances in check and it's not hard okay it's just simple things that is hard about being an adult like it's hard being an adult and being like okay i need to set this aside for my bills for my phone bill for my gas what whatever um and yeah guys uh you know i would suggest reading books by like someone like tony robbins uh he's somebody that i really look up to think and grow rich gary v he's a really cool guy uh honestly just knowing that you know you're not here to exist you're here to live a good life uh and so just be creative guys go for your passion that's what i'm all about Find what makes you happy, find what makes you tick, guys, and just know that struggles are going to come, life is going to be hard here and there, but the journey is what it's all about in making who we are, and never forget where you come from. Uh, if you guys want more in-depth videos about this, just let me know. Uh, I would be happy to do that. Oh yeah, and one thing's first, guys, your health is so important. Pitting money into your health is very, 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 very important. Without health, you can't have wealth. So now, I, when I think about buying healthy, th healthy food, I think of it as an investment. This is an investment into your future. It's an investment into your body. It's an investment, ladies, into your looks. You're going to look more beautiful if you're eating the right things. In the long run, in the short run, um, you're going to feel better. Spend less money on medicine. Avoid the hospital. Uh, it's just something that I would say, you know, your body is an investment. So, you know, do more yoga, work out, guys. Uh, that's something I would suggest too because if your mind is in a better spot, your life is going to be in a better spot. Your body's going to be in a better spot and it's all going to be aligned. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more videos like this where I talk about like things like this, maybe motivational things, let me know. I would be happy to do that. I know this is a little different, a little random, but I just felt compelled to do it. Uh, I know it's like a little different, a little bit of a different side of me being a little bit more mature, mature. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just, I love talking about money. I love uh, millennials. I think we're really powerful and uh, I think we have a bright future ahead. Sorry, I'm sweating. Uh, yeah, I have no foundation on. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love you to the moon and back. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram at yoichdo2. And uh, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. How Girl Summer is not over, by the way. I love you so much. Bye.